What's up, doll collectors? Hobbyist, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. I'm missing my babies. Delivery! Wow, these uh, miniverse delivery people are no joke. I got some more babies from Amazon. I paid $15.99 for a two pack, but before our little baby reveal, Let's make some new walls for a room. I'm using white foam board and let's cut two 12 by 13 inch rectangles that we can use for the front and back of our little storage box walls and a rectangle that is three inches wide and a little over 11 and a half inches long for the base of our box. I cut two three by 13 inch boards for the sides Let's glue it together, just like we did in our first video. This one, this one right here, to make our box. Let's add scrapbook paper. I cut a strip of paper and covered one of the sides, so it goes around the corner. And now we have a place to store our My Mini Baby stuff when not in use. Let's make another box. Again, we are cutting three inches for the sides. Then let's piece together leftover foam board. We're gonna cover it with scrapbook paper so we should be able to hide those seams. I glued enough foam board together to get a 12 inch wall. I cover it with scrapbook paper. I cut a two and a half inch piece of foam board at six inches long. Repeat to make two. I take one and glue one inch foam board underneath on all the sides to make a platform. Cover with felt and fabric. I only worried about covering the areas that will be visible. I glue the other piece to the bottom. I cut six by three inch rectangles to glue onto the sides. But before I glue them on, I cut half inch strips, four that are three and a half inches and four that are six inches. Let's cut quarter inch strips. I cut a total of 14. And we're gonna evenly space these as best we can and glue them to the half inch pieces. I start by gluing the half inch strips on the ends first, glue a quarter inch strip in the center between these two, then glue two more in the center of those spaces, then glue more in between those spaces. Glue the last half inch board to the bottom, then repeat to make two. Making sure all the good sides are facing forward, let's glue these to the sides, I started with one of the gates and one of the solid boards, then add our fabric colored box. Let's add this piece next, then the last side to make a crib. Let's cut another three by six rectangle of foam board. I cut two by six inch pieces for the sides, three shelves and a small piece for the bottom. Glue the small piece for the bottom under one of the shelves. Glue on one of the sides, add the shelves, add the other side, cut and glue another piece of foam board for the top to make a shelf. Now that we have our furniture and some walls, let's put this thing together. Let's glue on the side walls for our box. They are three by 13 inch rectangles. We can add more scrapbook paper to wallpaper the inside as well. Cut a three inch wide piece of foam board for the floor, let's cover it with scrapbook paper, then glue it into the space. I cut more foam board at one and a half inches and glue it across the top. Mine is two inches from the edge. Then let's glue a half inch strip across the top edge and down the sides, making like a large doorway or the entrance to a closet. We can place it right next to the other wall Place the crib inside. If our measurements are good, there is just enough space for it to fit. We can add the shelf and glue everything in place. Or you can leave it freestanding so you can move things around. We can add some of the My Mini Baby accessories like the top of the changing table. Or we can make our own by cutting some leftover felt to fit the top of the counter. I cut four and stack and glue them together. Cut two more and roll them and glue them to the sides. Glue the ends onto the felt and add another layer of felt on top. 
trim off the excess to make a little changing table mat with little bumpers to help hold the baby in place. And of course, you can cover it with fabric and dress it up however you like. I'm just cutting a few rectangles of fabric and pulling the threads on the sides to make a fringe, then fold them and add them to the shelves. We can make one a little bigger for an easy no-sew blanket for the crib. I have some old toy packaging from forever ago. It looks just about the right size to fit on our shelves. Let's cut it into two boxes, then cover them with scrapbook paper. I make a few holes, add some cord or ribbon to make small baskets to go on the shelves, giving us some storage in this space. We can also place small items under the crib and on the shelf at the top. And there's a little extra space on the side. I have some trim with pom-poms. I cut a small piece and glue it above the bed. We can use foam letters to spell out the baby's name or just baby if this is a catch-all room. We can take some macrame cord and just glue it into a circle going around and around. When we get it the size that we want, begin gluing it on top on the edge going all the way around to make small baskets to go on the top shelf, giving us a nursery in a closet for the doll who needs some tiny space solutions. Speaking of tiny, it's my mini baby time. Wow, we did all that so we could open two capsules. Yeah, that totally sounds like something I would do. Oh, and that sound, yeah, that's me. The, it doesn't do that. But I love these little easy to store walls that we can use to create scenes and mini rooms. And this is another bouncer. Honestly though, I'm just here for the babies. And in the comments, some of you wanted to know when was Jazz gonna have her baby? Oh yeah, I guess it has been a while. Well, I guess today is the day. We already know it's the bouncer, so it can be this one, this one, or this one. So whatever this is, it's gonna be Jazz's baby. And she has a ball baby. Oh, I think it's this one. And to confirm that, yep, it is. Yes, we get a diaper. And for the record, I think they should all come with diapers. Let's put this here and it kind of matches our room and I think it'll fit. Yes, we can store it right there when not in use. And we got a book, which we can put on the top shelf. Congratulations, Jazz, it's a green baby. Oh, but there's another one because this was a two pack, so we got two babies. I had no idea Jazz was having twins until just now. Ah. Uh, this sounds like a stroller. So let's go right to the baby and see Jazz's second baby. And there it is. Oops, sorry. Yay. Let's open the accessories. And we have another diaper. And this baby came with a bottle. I didn't even know they came with bottles, which is another fun accessory for our room. So they're not identical twins, but at last, Jazz has her babies, who are half werewolves. Say hello to the new Luna and Jacob. And yes, that's a Twilight reference. Thank you for joining us while we made a nursery in a closet that is easy to store. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. 